dear editors. Hello, dear editors. Nobody hey, cares, Jonas. come on, Bojack, be nice. Have you ever wondered how you can create animations like Bojack? Step one, we need to get some pictures of a Bojack. Go on Google and search Bojack emotions. Click on the picture and choose what you like. Then go to remove.bg and start the process of removing the background. And just like that, you have now got a Bojack picture ready to animate. Alright, so to do the famous Bojack voice, it's pretty simple. Find your way over to readloud.net and then press on the drop down. You want to search for the voice called Russell. This is an English Nobody slash Australian for the voice. Details, dude. And this. So then just press that and then you can type whatever you guys want to type. So I'm just going to type something. This is the great voice of Vojak. Then after you're happy with what you have written, just press voice it and then it will generate the mp3 file for you, which you can download. This is the great voice of Vojak. Alright, so the first effect that I will cover is a pretty nice one and it's called the CC Bendit. The CC Bendit is great for creating dynamic animations for our object in the back or even the main character. Well, this is a very cool method that you can really get started with in your Vojak editing. So to first get started, just go and add CC Bendit to your picture. As you guys can see, it gets very small and out of frame. To fix this, you just want to change the start values and then just drag this down until you can see the whole tree. Then take the end values and just drag it up until you can see the top of the tree. Pretty simple and straightforward. Well, to create some simple animations, you just want to press on the bend keyframe at the top here and then go down to your timeline and you will see a keyframe. Go some seconds forward and then you can drag it a bit to the right. As you guys can see the tree is tilting to the right and then you can go some seconds forward again and then drag it a bit to the left. What we should have now is a clean animation. But what I'm gonna do first is that I'm gonna evenly space out our keyframes so we just get a bit more nicer viewing experience. Now let's take a look at it. That looks pretty good I would say. Well, but. If I needed to do this for a video that is like 20 minutes long, how would I do that? Well, the answer is don't use keyframes. We're going to use something instead called expressions. So what you want to do is that you want to find this clock here and then you want to press on. All right, so after you have pressed it, something like this should pop up. And now we need to do a bit of coding. Well, actually, I just saved you guys the time for this. Just go in my description and just actually copy what I'm doing. So you just want to paste this little code here and it's actually pretty small so it's easy to see. It's just bend amount and bend speed and then just some words down here. Don't worry about them. The only thing you have to worry about is the bend amount and the bend speed. You want to change these values so you get your desired look. We'll then start doing the animations as long as the layer is on. So you guys don't need to uh, keyframe everything. It will just stay like this forever. I just want to show you guys how you can do some simple keyframing with our Bojack character. So I'm going to size it up and then I want to have animation like he's walking in the frame. Well, to do this, it's pretty simple. We're going to be using a lot of the position keyframes. So drag it out of frame, press the position keyframe, and then you can go some seconds forward and then you can start dragging, dragging him into frame. To create a bit more of a realistic movement you can drag it using your mouse so it will then create some movement that is sort of more realistic so now it will look like this well to make this look better you can simply press all of the keyframes and put it on easy ease in so to get a bit more of an understanding of how you can create dynamic and depth, you can just right click on your layer and then you want to find where it says transform and here you can flip it vertical or horizontal. So if you want it to, for example, leave again like this, it comes in, let's just take it back to how it was. It comes in like this, sees the man, then we want to cut it. So just press control, shift and D. And so this will then just splice your layer and then we can go to the new layer and then we can go on here 
press on the transform just press on flip horizontal and then you can start keyframing him out with the same keyframe position and now i wanted to just go out like like here and there and there and just like that so now you have a basic animation like this but first of all you want to go to your keyframes and then go to easy ease in and now it should look like this and it works out that are some of the basic things that you need to know when you're doing the Vojak effect. I hope you guys found this video nice and easy to follow and this gave you a better perspective on how to edit still images. If you guys want another part where I go a bit more in depth, just let me know. Yo, I just released my new Devin Jato editing course, so make sure to go in the link in the description and check out Jonas Editing Club. For only a one-time payment, you will get access to all of my courses as Devin Jato course and the 30-day viral. And in the future, you will also get access to more exclusive contents.